What if I told you that in the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang, the universe already contained giant luminous galaxies, far more massive, far brighter, far larger than current theory ever allowed? That astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have found galaxies that shouldn't exist yet, but do. Today on this channel, we dive into those cosmic rule breakers, the impossible early galaxies, the ones that defy our timeline of how structure in the universe emerges. What if everything we believed about the early universe is due for an upgrade? To understand why these discoveries are so shocking, we need to rewind. The universe is about 13.8 billion years old. In the standard cosmological model, lambda cold dark matter, after the Big Bang, there was a period called the Dark Ages, where no stars or galaxies had yet formed. Eventually, gas cooled, clumped, first stars lit up, galaxies formed, then supermassive black holes, and so on. Theory predicts that very early galaxies should be small, dim, metal poor, slowly building in mass. Then there is Ryanization, the epoch when the first stars and galaxies started emitting high energy photons that ryanized neutral hydrogen fog that filled the universe. Observations suggested that ryanization completed around 1 billion years after the Big Bang. But the James Webb Space Telescope changed the game. Its infrared sensitivity means light from very distant objects, redshifted, is shifted into infrared. And Webb was built to see that. It can see back to about 100 to 250 million years after the Big Bang. Now, with Webb, astronomers are finding galaxies that are not just visible, but surprisingly bright, large, and evolved far earlier than many simulations anticipated. Ones with stars, dust, chemical complexity. Let's talk about some of these discoveries. Then we'll see how they break theory. Then we'll try to make sense of them. One of the most headline-grabbing finds, Jade's GSZ 14-0 and Jade's GSZ, 14-1. These are galaxies seen only about 300 million years after the Big Bang. Their measured redshift is about 14.0. They are surprisingly large for such an early time, one of them about 1,600 to 1,700 light years across. They are much more luminous than expected for their mass and age. If these are real, models of how fast galaxies form stars accumulate mass and grow, might need revision. Then there are Jade's GS Z131, seen about 330 million years after the Big Bang, with Lyman alpha emission detected. That's the light from hydrogen atoms, which in the early universe was often blocked by neutral hydrogen fog. Yet this galaxy shows clear signature of that emission. Glass Z12, also called GHZ2, is another example. Its spectroscopically confirmed redshift is about 12.34, which means it existed only about 360 million years after the Big Bang. It has very low dust content, and while metals are present, they are minimal, making it more primordial. Another discovery is that some galaxies from about 400 to 600 million years after the Big Bang are surrounded by gas nearly pure hydrogen and helium, virtually unpolluted by heavier elements. Webb's instruments see large reservoirs of gas that haven't yet formed most of their stars. This implies rapid growth is still ongoing. These objects are still forming. JD's GS Z13-0 is another example. Spectroscopically confirmed, extremely high redshift, an early appearance. Perhaps one of the most mysterious findings. Jade's GS Z13-1 and Jade's GS Z13-0 show strong Lyman alpha emission, even though they existed when the universe should still have been mired in neutral hydrogen fog, which normally blocks that emission. The fact we see it means ionization may have progressed unevenly earlier, or that some galaxies managed to carve ionized bubbles through the fog. One puzzle is time. To reach their sizes, brightness, and mass, these galaxies must have formed stars, merged, and grown quickly. But the time from Big Bang to 300 million years is very short in cosmological terms. Theory says 
star formation feedback, and cooling take time. Getting big so fast is challenging. Some simulations predicted few bright, massive galaxies at redshift greater than 12, yet Webb is finding more than expected. Another surprise is the presence or absence of heavy elements, metals, and dust. Early galaxies were expected to be extremely metal poor, but while many are metal poor, some show dust signatures, oxygen lines, and more complexity than theory anticipated. This suggests that previous generations of stars must have formed quickly, processed material, and died much sooner than anticipated. Glass SZ-12 had low dust and oxygen lines detected. That is unexpected. We also mentioned the hydrogen fog. In theory, before around one billion years, most of the intergalactic medium was neutral hydrogen, which absorbs Lyman alpha emission. So seeing Lyman alpha so early in some galaxies suggests ionized regions and bubbles. Maybe some galaxies played a larger role in reionization than thought, or there were variations in timing across space. This upends assumptions. Were some regions clearing earlier? Did bright galaxies punch through earlier? One idea is the first generation of stars, population three, extremely massive and short-lived, could have created heavy elements quickly. If star formation was extremely efficient early on, then galaxies could grow mass and light fast. Also, a top-heavy initial mass function, meaning more big stars versus many small ones, might explain high luminosity. Also, cooling mechanisms like molecular cooling and early collapse in dense regions might have been more efficient than simulations assume. Another explanation is plenty of mergers. Galaxies merging rapidly in the dense early universe could accelerate growth. Also, dense clumps and early overdensities could produce massive galaxies earlier. Dark matter halos might have formed bigger than thought, allowing gas to collapse earlier. Dust both helps and challenges observation. Some early galaxies have less dust, some have dust. Dust obscures light, but also its presence suggests previous star generations. Some galaxies might be hiding behind dust, so we underestimate their size. Some appear brighter because dust emits in infrared. Some recent papers suggest the standard lambda cold dark matter model might struggle to explain how many bright early galaxies we see how fast they grow, and how massive they are. There is discussion about whether some assumptions, like how quickly stars form, how feedback works, and how gas cools, need revision. But caution, some measurements are uncertain. Some redshifts are only photometric and less precise. And there is a possibility of selection effects and time biases. Astronomers have identified hundreds of early galaxy candidates bright large objects whose exact nature is not yet confirmed. Some might be something else, like lower redshift galaxies or non-galactic sources. If many of these are genuine, the burden on theory increases. But until spectroscopic confirmation, there is caution. Another surprise, JWST is finding dormant or quiescent galaxies very early, which have already shut off star formation. Others call them sleeping beauties. For galaxies to shut down so early is surprising. It suggests feedback or black holes or environmental influences are active extremely early in cosmic history. These raise questions. What causes quenching that early? How do they stay dormant? What triggers reactivation, if at all? So many open questions remain. Are the brightest early galaxies being overestimated in mass or brightness? due to lensing or measurement biases? Do current simulation codes have missing physics like gas inflow, cooling, feedback, or star formation efficiencies? How patchy was reionization? Did different regions ionize at different times? Future observations with JWST Cycle 3. Spectroscopy, deeper fields, instruments like NIRSpec and MIRI, more measuring of emission lines, and gravitational lensing will help. Also, future telescopes like the extremely large ground-based telescopes will help refine these mysteries.
We're standing on the edge of cosmic dawn, staring back nearly to the beginning of everything. The James Webb Space Telescope is not just revealing individual galaxies. It's rewriting our story of how structure, stars, and galaxies came to be in the universe. These galaxies that shouldn't exist force us to acknowledge. Some pieces of our cosmic puzzle are missing, and the universe might be more strange, more surprising, and more wonder-filled than any of our models anticipated. If these early giants hold true, they teach us that the universe grew faster, evolved earlier, acted more boldly. Subscribe if you want more updates from the frontier of astronomy. Drop a comment. Which possibility do you think is most likely? Super efficient star formation? Unknown physics? Or something we haven't thought of yet? Until next time. Keep looking up. The light from the deepest past is still reaching us. This is Beyond Revealed. Subscribe now and join us as we explore the mysteries that lie within our world and far beyond.